Hey guys and gals, I hope you're all doing good. Today we got the Vulcan 3. This gun was requested quite a few times from viewers. Thanks to Tony over there at Talon Tunes, here it is. There's quite a few changes to this new Vulcan 3. If you're a Vulcan fan already, you're going to love this. If you've never heard of the Vulcan, you might want to pay attention because it's pretty badass. You can check out this gun there in stock now at Talon Tunes. There will be a link in the description. So everything I'm going to tell you about this, it's not hardcore stats. Everything I'm telling you right now is brand new for the Vulcan 3. You can get this in 500mm, 600mm, or 700mm barrels. 177, 22, and 25 caliber are going to be choked barrels. The 30 calibers have unchoked barrels so you can shoot slugs. In 500mm barrel, which is 20 inches, or 23.6 inches, which is 600mm, that's available in 177, 22, 25, and 30 caliber. The 700 millimeter version, which is 27.5 inch barrel, is available in 22, 25, and 30 caliber. So the 500 and 600 millimeter versions are going to be 31.3 inches overall length, and these are going to come with 480 cc bottles, plus the capacity in the air reservoir is going to give you 615 cc's of air. This is going to get you two times the number of shots as the Vulcan 2. The 700 millimeter with the 27.5 inch barrel is going to have a 580 cc carbon fiber bottle, giving you 715 cc's of air. The weight on the 700 millimeter version is 3.8 kilograms or 7.3 pounds, with an overall length of 39 inches. The weight on the 500 and 600 millimeter versions is 3.4 kilograms or 7.5 pounds. Now I got a list of about 10 things that are brand new on the Vulcan 3. This rear air chamber, okay, calling it the air reservoir. So the Vulcan 3 has a new feature for those who would like to achieve high powered shots. And this is super cool. So it has this enlarged regulated air chamber in the back. And the regulator is positioned about three quarters of the way down in this tube right here. So that's giving you, as it comes out of the box, let's say the last third of that air reservoir is your plenum. Now, if you want to degas the rifle, you can take your air reservoir out, flip it around, and now your plenum, and that's the waiting room for the air, basically, that's waiting to just get dumped when you pull the trigger, your plenum is now two-thirds of that giant air reservoir, so you just got a bunch more power. Super cool idea. That's how that works. So, it's got the new tricky air reservoir for high power shots. Just switch the air chamber around, providing a larger plenum. Another improvement is a monoblock design. It's one solid piece providing better rigidity and easier maintenance. It has a 20 MOA decline scope rail. Picatinny right there. The charging handle you can switch from right to left. And all you do to switch that from right to left is just take two screws out of the Picatinny rail right there. The rail pulls off and then there's an axis screw. You just remove that, switch your thing to the left and just put that baby right back on. So that sounds super quick and easy. In addition, the degassing screw to degas this rifle, let's say you're going to take it on an airplane or something, or you want to work on it, it has a one screw in the bottom rail to degas it. And of course, we got a bottom Picatinny rail there for your bipod or foregrip or whatever you want. It has a new larger moderator or shroud. So they switched it from 32 millimeter, now it's 38 millimeters. Got a monocore suppressing system inside there. Got a slightly new stock design. It's available in walnut or polymer. The buttstock position in relation to cheek piece is improved, so it, this allows for easier shooting off bags or bench rests. So that's good. The bipod rail underneath is removable. It comes with two magazines in a soft cage. And this is interesting, I didn't know this. All the Airgun Technologies models use the same magazine. So this is going to use the same magazine as your Vulcan 2, the Vixen, and the Urdu. That's super cool. And that's it. Let's shoot it. We're going to be shooting Zahn Slugs and 44 grain JSB today. The numbers on this gauge are pretty small, kind of hard to read. But if you'll notice, the gauge goes to 350. And this is actually a 300 bar fill. So just make sure you fill it up to the 300 mark which is one section before the end. So out of the box, this 30 caliber is actually shooting pretty hard. 
this 30 caliber is pushing a 44 grain JSB over a thousand feet per second. This gun is designed to shoot slugs with the unchoked barrel. And slugs are where this gun is going to shine. The Zahn slugs we're using are the 59 grain and the 54 grain. The 59 grain are going about 920 feet per second. With the 54 grain going about 950. Alright, I got this sweet bit of kit going on here. Element Optics. Element Optics Helix in the house. We're at a very special 35 yards, nailed it on a nice calm evening. Alright, we're about six shots down from a full tank. Time to shoot a group. Pretty darn good. I don't want to waste ammo, so um, three shot group on that one, baby. Yeah, look at that. That's nice for a 30 caliber slug. All right, and let's just click up to there, and we are oops, sighted in for 59 grams. All right, shoot some groups with the slugs. Fifty nine grain Zon slug. That's how it's done. I was just going to say, I don't want to leave that bunny without a husband. out of scope cam today but I'm just gonna put the camera right here and then shooting at 50 yards that's 50 yards away I did manage to get the scope cam going as you guys will see here Wow, you guys, repeatable accuracy. Even my nervousness couldn't screw that up. It's holding dime-sized groups all day. Even though it kicks a little bit. Getting real sunny here, but we're still at. 50 yards away. Here on the right are 25 grain pellets that I was shooting at the exact same distance out of my Delta Wolf against the exact same steel. So you can see the Zahn Slug's expansion power in comparison to those normal pellets. These Zahn Slugs not only have good expansion, but they're also extremely accurate. So that's awesome. As you can see, we got some wind going on. These are some tiny targets. That's a nickel right there next to a bottle cap. Got some two liter caps and there's another nickel. So nickel sized targets. I'd say we're sighted in at 50 yards. Wouldn't you? I'll take care of these guys. Here you guys, uh, as you can hear, we got the wind blowing, but that's not going to stop me. Here's my first nickel sized target. <laughs> I can't believe I did that.
right, I got one more nickel. If I can get this off the dude's head without tipping it over, it's all downhill from here. Oh, wow, and like blew the tree up in back. Nice. All right, now we got a lot of hats to deal with here. Well, these slugs are just icing those hats off these guys like so violently that it doesn't even move the little steel guy. Super amazing. And yeah, now we got a nice breeze going. You guys can hear those wind chimes? It's blowing in my face and making my face cold. I'm gonna let this guy wear his hat for a second because he's Sasquatch. Well, I slipped on the trigger that time. 50 yard with 30 caliber Zon slugs going uh, 920 feet per second. I'm not worried about wind. Right, I'm gonna go check my camera before I knock these guys into next week. As I recall, the dirty 30 caliber will bend these no matter where I hit them. I'm gonna do a few groups and then we'll take care of these hat wearing subjects. And also, I want to show you something here. See how these are all perfectly straight? Let's grab one. These have all been flattened straight and re-welded at the feet. Just note how flat and straight they are because they will not be, after we hit these with those Zon slugs, they're gonna be all bent up. I guess I'll just hit half of them in the body, half of them mm -hmm. in the in the head. Well, it really spins those things. <laughs> Yeah, it does. All right. I'll hit this guy on the leg. Oh. <laughs> Gotta love that sound. Flew, and Sasquatch lives. Wow, these guys flew quite a ways. Let's see here. I've got hats around. That guy's hurting. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. His butt was straight before. Way back here. Yeah, see, he's all jacked up now. This guy right here, his butt used to be straight. So, yeah, he just got whacked right there and it, look what it did. Crazy. All right, I'm curious if this uh, slug has enough power to do this AR-500 target. Maybe I should have greased him. Wow, sure as heck did. Awesome. Whoa, that thing freaking <laughs> goes in there like a laser. I, I saw that through the scope and it was like heat seeking missile right there, buddy. Whoa, I knocked, no, I knocked, I thought I knocked two of them over. Wow, plenty of energy.
that looks as awesome in it as it does in the scope, in the scope cam. So all the 700 millimeter versions of this gun are going to be set up for the power tune. So they're already going to have the air reservoir switched over to where it has a more powerful plenum. So if you get a 22 with a 700 millimeter barrel, it's going to be a beast. 25 and 30. Also, some of you guys that want to get into shooting slugs, this is a dedicated slug gun, a 30 caliber right here with an unchoked barrel. So. We already see two here that do well out of this gun, and you can probably find more. In addition, you can tune this up and down. I didn't have time to tune it down for JSB pellets, but you take the stock off, there's a grub screw that holds that rear adjuster in place. Loosen that, and you can adjust the power on this bad boy. Alright guys and girls, that's it for me on this one. I appreciate you tuning in. Definitely cruise over to Talon Tunes and check these out if you're interested in this gun. The 30 caliber that we just reviewed, it's designed specifically to shoot slugs, so. so if you want to get into slug shooting, go for it. Also, you can call or text Tony anytime, ask him any questions you want, super cool guy. Alright, till next time, happy shooting. We'll see you on the next one.